Hi there. If you are new to my channel, please check out previous videos. I have created more than 75 videos related to CSS, JavaScript and HTML. There are few videos with WordPress as well and Gulp with advanced JavaScript. So you can subscribe if you like my videos and please support. Okay, let's start with this. In this video, we will see the required CSS pseudo selector. So the required pseudo class selector in CSS allows you to select and style any match element with the required attribute. So normally forms can easily indicate which fields must have valid data before that form can be submitted. But that allows user to avoid the wait occurred by having the server be the sole validator of the user's input. So let's see an example. Let's say we have an input field with type is equal to name. Okay. And here name is equal to first name. Okay. Ignore form uh, for now. And we need a required field, the required attribute. Okay. Let's see. Here, this is a basic input field. Okay, so now we can style that input using this required pseudo class selector. How? Let's open the CSS, the CSS file. We can give required and let's say background color red. So this CSS will apply for all the input fields with required attribute. Okay, let it load. Yeah, it's now background red and if we remove this required attribute let me remove it this will not apply okay so we can also uh, style required forms using uh, the simple selectors as well as chaining together with additional pseudo css class we can use input required as well as focus with required and we can easily style so this is the very basic example Let's see with one form. Let me remove. And here I have already created a simple form with input type is equal to text, name, radio button, text area, and one button. So this is let me remove this required field, this required CSS. So this is the basic form. Okay. So if you want to uh, make sure that when user is um, using this uh, submitting this form then he can see which fields are required and we can always use the stars here with the label but apart from that we can use required to style the required fields so for that what we can do we can use input that will select all input fields with required attribute can use text area with required attribute and let's say border color red and should apply the border to email as well as comment because email is required field and required attribute and this text area is also having required attribute. So this is working fine. Apart from that, there is another way we can give input required and with required, we can target select and we can give color red. So the user can see the difference. So here, as you can see, this is a label, okay, and input field type is equal to radio it is also required but you cannot give this required to this label so using this css input required plus label on the same level you can select the color and give css whatever you want so this way you can give css two labels as well as well as the fields so 
the required attribute is treated as a boolean that means it does not require a value simply having required on an element lets the browser know this attribute exists and corresponding input is in fact a required field so in html you can always use required is equal to required but this is not mandatory you can simply use required that enough for the browser okay although according to the w3c specification the required attribute also works with an empty value okay so it can or uh, it will work like this as well as well as required is equal to required so there are three ways you can use required on the html required attribute also requires for the browser to use native callouts such as a bubble message from the demo okay so as you can see the required is little bit different the native required field is little bit different from the normal fields and for those inputs not style using required users may also customize non required elements using optional pseudo class selector you can check out my other videos you will find that okay and along with that optional you can also use invalid and valid cs pseudo class which are triggered when the form fields data requirements are met so um, i have also created a video for this valid and invalid css pseudo class so in form validation you can also um, use this required with the pattern attribute so this is uh, something is interesting you may um, google it so this is the basic use of required css pseudo selector and you can always use it whenever you are using with you are working with form and you have some fields which is required and user want user have to um, apply some value user have to submit some value whenever submitting the form so that's all for this video if you like please comment and share subscribe if you haven't and see you next time around thank you